Welcome back. Without a CRT display, it's common knowledge that light guns just don't work very well. There is the very cheap Mayflash Dolphin Bar, but it's not very accurate. JB with a gun for hire promises a solution that is both compatible and extremely accurate. In today's video, we'll review his handiwork. Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribe on. It helps the channel. Everyone loves an unboxing. Bang. Bang it good. So this is pretty much what we sent JB. He has a service that if you send him a gun con, he'll mod it for you for a few bucks less than the pre-modded versions. He's added a few things. This toilet paper manual for one. <laughs> Thanks, JB. We also have a bag of cables. This has the LEDs included and a few other bits. In the jiffy bag is the converted gun con. Here's the original circuit board. And the rest of the bits that we won't be using. I don't even know what this is. We chose to convert our gun con 2 for the D-pad and extra buttons. At first glance, there seems to be no difference at all. That is, until you check the sensor. The lens that's on here is a fisheye lens. Good for if you're close to the screen. We can fully remove this. Here it is without the cap on. And with this being a gun con 2, it feels very nice. The manual we get is a quick guide. There are six steps here, and if we need more information, there are PDFs we can download. In the bag of cables, we have another bag. Hmm. This cable is to power the solenoid, which needs a 12 volt 2 amp adapter. And in the jumble of cables, we have four LEDs. These need to be placed around the monitor, and it also needs USB power. To attach the LEDs to the screen, we're given this Velcro tape. And what's in this? Ah, it's another lens. If the monitor is a bit further away, we can use this one. With the LEDs attached to the TV, and a handful of electrical spaghetti behind, we can calibrate our light gun using the software provided. And in no time, we can use our gun like a mouse. Feedback is loud. If we don't need it, we can unplug it. Let's try some games. We'll first start on Steam. Here's Epoch. Blue Estate. In the option screen, set mouse to raw mode, and this game plays amazing. If you need guidance on getting him set up, we can use the Sinden Wiki. Most, if not all, of these patches work with the Gun 4 IR. And that's how we got this game to work. Intake. Now let's get into some bad error. Starting from version 36, they started to add native Gun 4 support. We can even navigate the game's list with our light gun. It is still new for bad error. So we may need to access Quick Menu to change our controls, so games will get to see our controller. But once we've done this, it works great. Lethal Enforcers. And if you want a bit more realism, and a lot less fun, here's Mad Dog McGree 2. Using gunfire over the zapper is like night and day. Whoa, wild gunman. I'm a crack shot at this. Scope 6. On oh, the Master System, Sega's version of Duck Hunt. It's Safari Hunt. And on the Mega Drive, we can emulate the Justifier or Menacer. Here's the Menacer 6 in 1. Flycast supports Dreamcast, Naomi, and Thomas Wade. Let's <laughs> go. 
We gotta be really quiet. We're hunting. Ah, oh, that's so cute. Model three. PlayStation, we need to set the controller to Guncon, and as you can see, this is very accurate. We can use the gun for RR in MULA 3.9. It works for early arcade games, but for NES, we need to set the core to Nestopia and blindly bind controls in order to get it working correctly. But in Flycast, we cannot set the trigger. With an updated version of Emuelec, we can fix this. And it's on PlayStation. And trying this on a Pandora Box DX, surprisingly, it kind of worked. We can navigate the menu and even use it in-game. It is a bit too sensitive, so it may be set up incorrectly. Arkanoid 2. A missile command is just not happening. We tested the gun for her with the A500 Mini, in both normal use and with Pandora 500 V2, it was incompatible. If we get it working, we'll let you know in the video description down below. As for other systems, Gunfur is compatible with RetroPie provided the cores have light gun support. When it comes to the Mister, the Gunfire is also supported, with JB working on the coding himself. If you're wanting the most compatible light gun around for emulation, this is a no-brainer. In the future, we hope to see games set automatically, and down the back of the TV, far less spaghetti. And closing up, here's a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon. At Team Pandori, we do video reviews, guides, and fix them cheap arcade boxes. If you want to support our work, you can join up. Or simply hitting that like and subscribe is a free alternative. Or you could come to me for a back rub. Anyway, this has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra! Hello, I, I, I'm John Luke. Check my pecs.